Hey everyone, in this video I want to look at latency and some of the wrong ways and some of the right ways we can think about actually looking at it. Now latency is just that time it takes, that delay caused by the amount of time a certain operation takes. That could be network latency, hey the time it takes from me issuing a, a request over the network to getting a response. It could be storage latency, I'm requesting some operation to be performed. How long does it take to again get that acknowledgement back that it's been performed? It could be end-to-end -end latency resulting in multiple types of operation happening. It could be something like a website operation where again, there'll be network, there'll be storage, there'll be APIs being called. And this latency can have a hugely negative impact on our overall experience. It's why when we think about services we offer, we try and have instances all around the world so we can be close to our users to try and reduce things like that network latency. And often we wanna know, was latency having an impact on the interactions? Is there some sort of problem? Now in this example, I'm just gonna look at an Azure storage account, just a regular standard storage account, not a premium, and it's not really a busy storage account at all. I'm just trying to show some of the things we can look at and where there might be some gaps. So what we have right here is if we jump over and share, this is latency. And what I'm really looking at, and the key part of this, is I'm looking at average. So my aggregation is what is the average latency on this? And if I look at this, I can see it's moving around a bit. We can see there are some jumps. So hey, over here, I jump up to over 250 milliseconds, for example. But overall, it, it's fairly looking okay. And I might go, okay, well, these operations are within my tolerances. I'm, I'm good to go. And if you see this dashed line, the dashed line simply means it's missing some data points. That's all dashed means. There are some data points that aren't there, so it represents it as a dashed line. The challenge with average, imagine this was very widely used and there were thousands of different data points. When I take the average, I'm really hiding a lot of the detail. And it might be some of that detail, some of the true peaks, those worst things that happened that really matter the most to me. Average may actually not mean very much when it comes to latency. Now some things average is fine for. If I'm maybe trying to measure my sales, if I'm trying to measure the number of visitors I had, hey, average, it might be a pretty good metric. But if I'm talking about latency, average doesn't actually give me that greater information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this aggregation to max on one of them. So I've got the same metric right now twice. I've just got average twice. And we can see our scale is up to this sort of hundreds of milliseconds. I'm gonna now change one of them to max. And the scale has now changed. We can see we kind of get these peaks now. And if we look at these peaks, well, the peak is actually 21 seconds. The average was 273 milliseconds. And we can still see that average line, it's down here, this blue one at the bottom. And we can kind of see there's some correlation to it. But that average has really hidden what some of that true impact was. So for some of the operations that happened, hey, it was 21 seconds, it was 17 seconds, 11 seconds. So there were some really bad ones. Now the good thing, Looking at this, it wasn't that frequent, but there definitely are some, and I don't know how many of those max ones actually occurred. I would then go and dive into the details. I can do diagnostic settings to send it, saying like log analytics or a storage account. I could go and actually look through and see the detail. But the key point is that that average really hid away the true level of the impact of hey, were there some really, really bad interactions with this? Now, what you may say is, it doesn't really matter, sure. Um, one interaction maybe out of 100 was bad, but the other 99 were great. 
But is that really the way it works? And something else to consider, it's not just average that would have this problem. If I did percentiles, if I did 95th percentile where it will hide the worst 5% or 99th percentile where it will hide the worst 1%, you won't see any of these maxes. Like it would just be hidden from you. As far as I'd be concerned, my data's looking pretty good. I would just see that, that average line with some blips, but it would look acceptable. And so you say, okay, there are some getting the max, and I can tell it can't be that many because I don't have many interactions. My average is still pretty low. So it would make me think, eh, it's probably okay. Not many of the interactions in this case with the storage are really being impacted that negatively. But is that really true? How many interactions do you really have where it's one interaction, one operation is the complete interaction? It probably isn't the case. If you look at a website, what well, a website isn't, hey, give me the web page, here's the web page. There are hundreds of calls. And we can actually see that. Uh, let me just jump over. So here is the Microsoft homepage. And if we refresh the home page, down here on the right hand side, I have the network tracing. And so far, there were 134 separate requests went in just to load the Microsoft home page. If I went to bing.com instead, there were 225 requests. So the point here is that you might say, oh, well, it actually doesn't matter. It's only one person out of 100 or 1,000 would be impacted. But if you consider most interactions with our storage or our API or our website are actually comprised of many, many operations for the complete transaction, the complete experience. Well, if one in 100 is bad and I have to do 200 requests, I'm almost guaranteed to impact everyone. And so don't, I guess, hide things and lie to yourself just by looking at average when it comes to things like latency. And again, this could be database, network, storage, the list really goes on, API interactions. Because average is actually hiding a lot of the important things. I need to understand what some of those maxes are and how many of them are there to understand what the interactions are actually being experienced by my users when you consider, hey, there may be lots of these operations happening. So don't focus on averages or percentiles. What you really wanna do is plot like a latency distribution curve. And then you can identify, well, at what point is it not acceptable? And I'll actually link a video below. I saw a great video where it's like 45 minutes just about different ways to measure this. It's fascinating, so I do recommend you go and look at that but you wanna go and dive in and really understand it. And if you do see these peaks, I mean, one of the things you could start to do, in this case, it, it's a storage account. So obviously there's different things, but I might go and for example, if I'm over here, I could do a new chart and maybe it's a particular type of interaction. And maybe I wanna look at my um, transactions I'm doing and it's the sum of them. So I'm not actually seeing many here, but remember you can do things like splitting. So with splittings, I could say, well, what API am I calling? And again, this one is not really being used, but you get different information about what's actually happening. So don't ignore splitting. Splitting can be really, really useful if I just do a count. And again, I went to transactions. Well, here I can see, look, all the different types of APIs that are being called. And maybe at a certain point in that max latency, I'll see a certain type of API being called that might give me a hint of some of the things that are happening. So don't ignore all the other types of information are available to you to help you try and really troubleshoot and cure the problem. So that was it. Um, I thought it was just kind of interesting because I had some challenges last week and there were different teams. Some of the teams were like, hey, no, we just need to look at average. And then I was like, average is basically just noise. What we really care about are those max values because that's the reality. And in that case, we saw a lot of the max values that were, that were pretty bad. The average actually looked fine because they had tens of thousands of interactions. And so even when you had lots of these maxes, they were getting hidden. 
So the average did not tell the story. You had to go and look at the maxes to see, hey, look, there's a consistent problem. We're hitting these very high max latencies. We need to go and investigate. So I hope that was useful. Uh, as always, till next video, take care.